Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I'll speak about management of infected total hip replacement. Uh, Post-operative infection is a very difficult complication. It's painful, disabling, costly, and often requiring removal of both components of the hip prosthesis and is associated with the reported mortality rate of 2.5%. In modern days, the advances in understanding of the patient condition and the operating room environment, the surgical technique, and the use of prophylactic antibiotics have dramatically reduced the risk. Uh, we have a higher instance, as uh, Professor Kelly uh, said, in diabetics, in uh, rheumatological diseases, in obese patients, in coagulopathy, and in corticosteroid administration. Uh, pre-operative anemia and sickle cell disease and prolonged operative time and uh, previous uh, history of surgery. The causative organism is mainly staph aureus, coagulase negative staph, streptococci, enterococci, and gram-negative organisms. The mechanism involved in infection. Direct contamination of the wound at the time of surgery, local spread of superficial wound infection, hematogenous spread of distant bacterial colonization and infection from a separate site, and reactivation of a latent hip infection in previously septic hip joint. The antibiotic prophylaxis infections are caused by gram-positive organisms, particularly coagulase negative staphylococci and staphylococcus aureus. Uh, MRSA and Pseudomonas is mainly because of the presence of uh, glycocalus extension in the cell wall. The guidelines, uh, intraoperative antibiotic administration guidelines, I have to uh, choose the uh, antimicrobial agent. I have to have uh, to use the kephalosporins, uh, cefazoline and soframine. Uh, if beta lactamase allergy, I have to use clindamycin or vancomycin. Uh, consider preoperative screening for MRSA colonization. If infected or colonized with MRSA, I have to use vancomycin. The timing of, of administration, I have to start 60 minutes before incision in case of kephalosporins and clindamycin and start up to 120 minutes, two hours before incision in case of vancomycin. The dosage in uh, cefazoline, one to two uh, grams in uh, cefuroxime, 1.5 gram and in vancomycin and clindamycin, the dose is according to the patient mass. The duration of antimicrobial use, this is the recommended. We, we usually do not uh, respect this in our work in, uh, in, in suspected cases, but this is the guidelines for recommended cases. I have to uh, administer single preoperative dose and uh, reduce antimicrobial uh, anti. Uh, biotic antimicrobial agent intraoperatively for prolonged procedures or significant blood loss. When using post-operative uh, doses, I have to discontinue within 24 hours after wound closure. The classification of infection post-operatively in uh, Sokoyama classification, I have uh, number one, early post-operative infection, uh, onset within one month late chronic infections, onset more than one month and insidious onset, acute hematogenous infection, onset more than one month after surgery, and uh, acute onset of symptoms, uh, usually from a distant source uh, or distant focus of infection, and positive intraoperative cultures, positive cultures obtained at the time of revision for uh, supposedly aseptic condition. The extended classification by uh, Tambuz and Zemerli. Number one, early infection up to three months post-operative. Delayed infection three months up to 24 months. Late infection more than 24 months. And in another classification, sorry, in another classification, acute less than one month and late more than one month. Diagnosis. Diagnosis of early post-operative infection in acute hematogenous uh, infection is often uh, not so difficult. Uh, late chronic infection is difficult for diagnosis. The clue for understanding or for suspicion is a well-functioning arthroplasty with pain that's not subsiding with analgesics. History of excessive wound uh, drainage after the initial arthroplasty is a clue for the presence of infection. 
multiple episodes of wound erythema. Prolonged antibiotic treatment by the operating surgeon also are uh, worrisome. Uh, lab reports, ESR uh, more than 30 millimeter per hour, C-reactive protein more than 10 milligram are sensitive and specific. Normal patient ESR may take up to one year for normalization, but the C-reactive protein should normalize within three weeks after replacement. Aspiration not undertaken until uh, after uh, three weeks of stopping antibiotics. The arthrogram. The arthrogram is very important, which should uh, pseudopercel periosteal ossification sinus tracts. And this is an example of the arthrogram. This is, the, uh, this is done in cases with a sinus. Of course, uh, Dr. Uh, Kelly uh, speak about the biofilm that's present in affected cases. The uh, ideal scenario for diagnosis. When abnormal ESR and C-reactive protein are found in combination with an aspirate white blood cell count greater than 3,000 leukocytes per milliliter is highly suspicious for infection. A radionucleotide study for infected total hep. A nuclear medicine studies may be obtained if the diagnosis is not confirmed by hep aspiration, but still there is a higher instance of suspicion remains. The combination of indium labeled leukocyte and technetium sulfur colloid labeled marrow imaging seems to be more reliable. The international consensus on periprosthetic infection guidelines. Two positive periprosthetic cultures with phenotypically identical organism or sinus tract communicating with the joint or having three of the following minor criteria elevated C-reactive protein and ESR, elevated synovial fluid white blood cell count, or change on leukocyte strays test strep, and uh, elevated synovial fluid polymorph nuclear leukocyte neutrophils. Positive histological analysis of periprosthetic tissue and a single positive culture. The main problem with infection is loosening of the implants, the uh, septic loosening of implants. And this is the main reason for revision of the hip. Femoral and acetabular loosening, either septic or aseptic, are some of the most serious long-term complications of total hip arthroplasty, and these commonly lead to revision. Some studies define failure of radiographic evidence of loosening despite continued satisfactory clinical performance. Uh, when I speak about loosening, I, uh, for, uh, and to be more easily, uh, instead of uh, saying that the loosening is in the, uh, around the greater trochanter or around the laser trochanter or the in, in, in the, uh, between the uh, laser trochanter and the subtrochantric area, I have the zones of femoral and acetabular zones. The zones around the uh, cement in the, in the cement mass in the femur described by uh, Gromin and uh, as described by uh, Dilly and Charlie in the acetabulum, uh, in the femur, we have seven zones. Zone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's in both AP and lateral. And Dilly and Charlie, we have three zones. This is for simplification. Uh, I mean, uh, this is an uh, uh, ideal way for uh, discussing the, uh, the uh, areas of uh, loosening with uh, other colleagues. Uh, he will understand that I have a, uh, loosening in zone six or in zone four or in zone seven. He will uh, automatically understand where is the uh, location of the loosening. The femoral loosening, uh, cemented femoral component loosening, uh, radiolucency, below, uh, between uh, grown uh, zone one equals the bonding of stem from the cement and early stem deformation. Uh, radiolucency between the cement mantle and the surrounding bone, these are the signs, sure signs of loosening. The substance of the stem or with a uh, cement mantle. When I found the cement and the stem, it was the level of the level of the stem and then it started to fall. يبقى حصل substance هو ومع السمنت. This is a sure sign of loosening, of course. Uh, femoral stem becoming in a varus position. 
uh, I did the, the uh, total hip replacement. The stem was in a uh, valgus or neutral position. And after some time on serial follow-up x-rays, I found it changed in the position and become in a varus position. This is a sure sign of loosening. Fragmentation in growing zone seven. وده قلنا فايدة الزونز اللي أعرف فين بالضبط الموجود اللوزنينج. Fragmentation of the cement in growing zone seven is a sure sign of loosening. Fragmentation of cement in growing uh, four zone. Deformation of the stem or fracture of the stem. لو أنا لقيت عندي في deformation of the stem بدأ الستم يتعوج أو حصل له even fracture. This is a sure sign of loosening. Uh, Harrison McCarthy defined femoral component losing radiologically into a definite loosening when there is migration of the component or the cement, probable loosening when a complete radiolucency is noted around the cement mantle, and possible loosening when an incomplete radiolucency surrounding more than 50% of the cement. For the acetabular loosening, cemented acetabular components changes in the pelvis and the acetabular component. That's number one, absorption of the bone from around part or all of the cement mantle. Number two, cephalic translation combined with sagittal plane rotation. I found the acetabulum, the uh, inclination of the acetabulum has changed. Uh, it's a uh, cephalic orientation. Uh, the uh, the uh, antiversion is changed. Of course, this is a sure sign of loosening. Wear of the cup as indicated by a degrees. The wear is very important uh, uh, sign. Degrees in the distance between the surface of the head and the periphery of the cup. This indicates that there is a wear of the polyethylene. Fracture of the cup and cement. Femoral loosening occurs at the uh, stem cement interface. This is a very important uh, statement. The femoral loosening occurs at the stem cement interface, but the acetabular loosening occurs at the cement bone interface. Acetabular loosening starts at the periphery and progresses towards the dome. Uh, I have to uh, look for the radial lucency and the uh, horizontalization of the cup. Uh, for the cementless acetabular components, loosening of cementless porous coated acetabular component is an uncommon finding uh, as compared with cemented uh, acetabular. Uh, and Graffin and Marx classified uh, classification, the class, they classify the, the uh, cementless acetabular component into stable, probably unstable, and definitely unstable. The diagnosis, septic loosening produces pain on movement and pain at rest. For the acetabular component, there is a start of pain, which is worse in the first few steps. Early post-operative pain suggests infection. Loosening diagnosis is done only on follow-up X-ray. I have to have serial follow-up X-rays, and this is the only diagnostic sign of loosening. I have to check for the uh, loosening uh, lines and loose zones in serial follow-up X-rays. Uh, uh, adjunctive investigations, arthrography, and nuclear medicine studies, as we have mentioned. Uh, arthrography shows layer around the acetabular cup, which shows loosening. The management principles. Number one, antibiotic prophylaxis and antibiotic therapy, depriment and irrigation of, <coughs> sorry, and irrigation of the wound with component retention, depriment and irrigation of the uh, hep with component removal, uh, one stage or two stage reimplantation of total hip arthroplasty, and the uh, final decision is girdle stone excisional arthroplasty. The management depends on number one, the chronicity, the virulence of the organism, the status of the wound, and the surrounding soft tissues. Decision for component retention or removal. What's the main deciding factor for uh, dealing with the prosthesis? 
If I have less than two weeks of presentation since the onset of symptoms, I can deal with the infection, with uh, deprivement and irrigation, I, and, and I can still uh, leave the prosthesis. But if more than two weeks of presentation since the onset of symptoms, I have to deprive. So if I have less than two weeks of presentation since onset of symptoms, I have to go with deprivement and leaving the prosthesis, retention of the prosthesis. But if I have more than two weeks of presentation since onset of symptoms, I have to do deprivement and component removal. Uh, early post-operative infection. Early infections may range in severity from superficial celites, which is mainly dealt with antibiotics, to deep infection, which requires surgical management. Decision-making for uh, medical and surgical lines of treatment uh, with uh, extension uh, depends on the extension of the infection, whether below or superficial to the deep fascia. Surgery required if want dehiscence, skin necrosis, infected hematoma. If the joint is infected superficially, then the wound is to be opened in the operating theater. It's opened down to the deep fascia, and the structures are examined carefully uh, to see, to see uh, whether the infection extends under it. If, uh, in, if the infection is superficial, the wound is uh, thoroughly irrigated with large quantities of physiological solutions containing antibiotics, and all necrotic subcutaneous tissues and skins are excised. If the infection extends to the hip joint, the uh, wound deprivement and irrigation with uh, antibiotic solution, the hip must be dislocated to perform this procedure thoroughly. If modular components, and this is very important, in modular components, if modular components has been implanted, the liner, the femoral head, has to be exchanged to limit the uh, uh, any uh, instance of uh, uh, contamination from foreign mothers. And wounds are closed over drains. Cultures of uh, joint fluid or other fluid collections encountered along with tissue cultures from the superficial and deep uh, spaces and periprosthetic layers are sent for analysis. For the late chronic infection, surgical deprivement and component removal are required if eradication of the infection is to be done. Sinus tracts are deprived. Uh, Non-absorbable sutures and uh, trochanteric uh, hardware all have to be removed. The hip is dislocated and all infected and necrotic material is excised. The femoral and acetabular components and any other foreign material, including cement, cement restrictors, cables, or wires, all have to be removed uh, and exchanged, of course. Uh, one recommendation is for uh, non-removal and of oh, oh, this is a very important uh, topic. Uh, if I have uh, a well-fixed femoral component and it can be removed, I can, it can be uh, retained, I can retain it, I can leave it. Because if I have to uh, remove a well-fixed femoral or acetabular component in case of infection, this will lead to more uh, bone loss and more destruction of bone. Cultural sensitivity of synovium and necrotic tissue is seen. If antibiotic containing beads or spacers have uh, been placed, some authors have recommended that drains not to be used to maintain high concentrations of antibiotics, except to beads containing uh, gentamicin and uh, antibiotics. Uh, acute hematogenous infection. The hep becomes acutely painful uh, long after the index operation. The infection may have been caused by hematogenous spread from a remote site of infection or from transient bacteremia caused by an invasive procedure. The uh, clinical picture, I have uh, find that the patient's complaining of pain on weight bearing, on motion of the hip, and at rest is the chef symptom and sign of acute hematogenous infection. Lab investigations, ESR and CD active protein, diagnosis is established by joint aspiration. Joint aspirated fluid shows raised white blood cell count, positive cultures, and relevant sensitivity. While reports on cultures are being done, broad spectrum antibiotics, I uh, take the uh, 
synovial fluid or the cultures from the tissue. I send it for cultural sensitivity. I have to give, uh, I don't wait for the culture results. I have to give a broad spectrum antibiotics against both gram positive and gram negative organisms till the culture results are uh, obtained. More aggressive approach includes complete removal of components and immediate reimplantation, and we'll speak about it one stage or two stage with primary uh, cementless components. Reconstruction after infection. Decision making in reimplantation of new prosthesis, according to the functional impairment of the patient, the infecting organism, is it a low virulence or high virulent organism? the adequacy of depritement and control of local and distant infection. Reimplantation is done as, as Dr. Kelly said, one stage or direct exchange, two stage or delayed exchange. Uh, delayed reimplantation, of course, is uh, adventitious. Uh, there is very limited indications for the uh, one stage exchange because it carries a higher risk of reinfection for the uh, two stage or delayed reimplantation. It's very advantageous because of the adequacy of deprivement. Deprivement is ensured because repeated deprivement of soft tissue may be done. Infective organisms, infecting organisms are identified in the culture and treatment started. Any foci of local or distant infection can be identified and eliminated. And decision regarding resection arthroplasty can be done. One stage exchange is done in. What's the indications of one stage? When effective antibiotics are available and systemic symptoms of sepsis are absent. The contraindications, of course, two main things. If I have a sinus tract, this is absolute contraindication for one stage exchange. And the skin condition, if I have soft tissue compromise, this is an absolute contraindication for one stage exchange. Two stage is indicated in septic patients, sinus tracts, unidentified organisms, uh, soft tissue compromise. Uh, Reimplantation with cement or cemented or cementless is guided by available bone stock, physiological age, and expected longevity of the patient. The uh, Duncan and uh, Beauchamp two stage uh, technique. This technique is with, in which a prosthesis of antibiotic loaded acrylic cement, stalact, and a hot spacer, I remove the prosthesis, I put an antibiotic load spacer, is implanted in the time of the initial deprivement. The prosthesis is constructed intraoperatively by molding antibiotic laden cement around femoral component and an all polyethylene acetabular component. This is the spacer. Components are uh, interference fat, simplifying while extraction. Current guidelines for reimplantation. Number one, at least six weeks of antibiotics. ESR and C-reactive protein should be negative. Repeated hip aspiration negative reports. Uh, reconstruction done at three months interval. Restriction of limb length and full motion should not be expected. Of course, the results of revision are not satisfactory as in the primary hip replacement. If trochanteric osteotomy is done, the limb is lengthened and abductor weakness is present. Uh, I have to have some time to release the iliopsoas and gluteus maximus tendon to uh, have a, a proper hip reduction. If acetabular wool, acetabular wool is thin, I have to be very careful because with oversized implants, I may have a fractured acetabular. Femoral canal preparation, avoiding fractures. We can feel when we were talking about the effort, the effort session that we had, which was in the Mu'tamar Jamaat of the Nazam al-Masriya. We can feel professor from from Holland, I think, from from Holland. Uh, can be talking about the prophylactic circlage wiring during femoral preparation. This is a very important step uh, for uh, prevention of uh, periprosthetic fractures. Frozen uh, sections of tissues can be examined for residual inflammation. Uh, the last thing is the Girdlestone arthroplasty. Uh, using standard approach, the head of the femur, the neck, the greater trochanter is exposed and uh, removed. Uh, here, head, neck, greater trochanter, and infected synovium all are removed through deprivement. 
then the skin is closed. Uh, followingly, I have to put the patient on skeletal traction, three to 10 kilograms for six weeks. And of course, the girdle stone arthroplasty is done in patients unsuitable uh, and unfit for reimplantation. Uh, I only, uh, only في الحالات patient not suitable for surgery. And this is after traction followed by mobilization. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Muhammad. Shukran, Yash, I'm a Gamilali. Shukran, Dr. Muhammad. Shukran, Dr. Brain B. Shukran, Ifan. Wahna Hayabash, I'm a kid, and Dr. Abdel Albis, a kid, 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 a question from Dr. Abdel Ayal, uh, a case of uh, very persistent infection uh, discharging since three months. Uh, he decided to do the bride mint, uh, but he found the dressing embedded within the wound. Uh, he take it out and made the bride mint and wash. He asked if this is sufficient or something else should be done. No, after three months, after three months I, I think this is not sufficient. Three months of discharging wound, just the bride mint, this is not sufficient. Uh, احنا قلنا في التوك بتاعنا ان هو لو الديسشارج اقل من لو اقل من 2 weeks i may do deprivement and uh, thorough deprivement cleaning of the uh, deep, uh, below the tissues below the deep fascia sometimes i have to dislocate the hip to have uh, uh, cleaned all the tissues in the hip joint but after 3 months of wound discharge no i, I have to remove the prosthesis also dr abdel albis al uh, this peripheral joint infection the guidelines deal, uh, deal with the conventional total hip, uh, but the issue is uh, somewhat different regarding surface replacement arthroplasty. What do you think? I think the guidelines of infection are the same for all prosthesis. Uh, if you have infection, uh, chronic infection, more than maybe one month, let, let, let's see more than one month, not two weeks. More than one month, you have to consider removal of the prosthesis. Less than one month, or uh, as guidelines said, two weeks, but uh, in general, one month, less than one month, uh, deprivement uh, may be uh, efficient and uh, prolonged use of antibiotics. When uh, the prosthesis is stable, and when I eat it, it's very stable. عشان اشيله واشيل السمنت بتاعه ده هيعمل لي فعلا مور تيشو ديستراكشن اند مور بون لوس ذان تو ليف ات يعني نفس الجايد لاينز تقريبا يا باشا دكتور وائل ابو زيد بيسال يا باشا ريجاردنج البروفلاكتيك سيركلاج وايرنج ديورنج الفيمورال كانال بريباريشن ميني سيركلاج وايرز شو بي يوزد ان ويتش ليفل على مالتيبل ليفلز على كذا ليفل يعني بنبدا من تحت الليزر تروكانتر وبعدين عند السب تروكانتريك اريا وتحتها هنقول باي 5 سنتيمترز هو كان البروفيسور الهندي بيتكلم ات ليست 3 سيركلاج وايرز بروفيلاكتيك 3 سيركلاج وايرز ات ليست مي بي يوزد تو اوفركم اند بروفيلاكتيكلي اوفركم ذا بيري بروستيك فيمورال فراكشرز ديورنج ريفيشن تمام اعتقد يا باشا كده ما فيش اسئله ثانيه I have a comment regarding the the prophylactic uh, circulation wiring, you know, the uh, it is also depending on the design of the stem. Yes. Like if I'm if I'm doing grasping for long stem, the like polar stem, for example, is a long stem. Yeah. If you're using like uh, we try lock, it's a short stem. So if yeah. you rasp with a small rasp, no need to put three, four wires, you know. Yeah. But if using long grasp or the push is, is long, then you can use more wires. Yes. So it is depending on the the the, the design of the stem. So revision, Dr. Ibrahim, be حضرتك غالبا بيبقى long stem ولا حضرتك ممكن. لا لا أنا أنا بتكلم the prophylactic in the in the primary hip. In the, oh, in, oh, oh, in the oh, 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 o
في البرايمري بيكون لايك اف يو جو فور سمنتلس يا سام تايمز يو وي يوزنج ات ايفن ان ذا سمنتلس اف يو فيل ذا ذا انتيرو رول سبيشلي ذا فيمورال انتيرو كورتكس سام تايمز ان ذا ان ذا ان ذا ان ذا ان ذا ريفيجن از يو منشن بروفيسور محمد ات ليست 3 تو كفر ذا اب تو ذا اسمس لايك اب تو ذا اسمس يس يس كود ذس از ذا موست ستريس ستريس بورشن اوف ذا اوف ذا فيبر Yes, yes, of course. And, and also, when you, right. when you like, you know, the the normal thing, normal instruction, like when you do the rasp or the 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 hammering, you should wait for 10 seconds between each hit to lead yeah, leave for the, the hope. Yeah, yeah, the hope stress is to release, yeah. and then you can go. This is the general rule for this. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this night. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. And and I see this my favorite hadrita, Kabir Ibrahim. يا باشا انا غلبان <تصفيق> لا 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 العفو يا فندم لا العفو لا العفو ده احنا كلنا هو هو كلنا بنتعلم من بعض يا فندم العفو هو احنا احنا وي هاف لو ثريشولد فور فور ريفيجن ان 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 اف يو سسبكت انفكشن ويل جو سبيشلي يو نو وي هاف سم سبيشال از وي منشن ذا بيشن ريليتد فاكتورز اور بيشن از مور اولد لايك ذا ايج ايجينج ا لوت اوف كوموربيديتيز سو اف ذا بيشن بيكيم سيبتيك هي جوت سيبسز The uh, the mortality rate is so high, like you know this. So the uh, we, we have low threshold in in the in the revision to do revision or, or to go for the infection to operate. And also, I I just to to uh, to clarify something uh, regarding the dire or the to to to, re, to, yeah. to leave the implant. Usually, usual most of us changing the polyethylene liner. Yeah, like this is the easy thing to do. to make a, a thorough wash out and we change the liner as a routine okay. even if we leaving the implant i think you 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 know you know احنا عندنا حضرتك الانفكشن دكتور ابراهيم في مصر ديفينتلي بيختلف عن الانفكشن في ايرلند في المانيا في انجلترا ديفينتلي يعني مزم. احنا ريرلي ان احنا بنلجا للوان ستيج اكسشينج او الوان ستيج ريفيجن ده فيري ريرلي احنا دايما بندخل في التو ستيج حضرتك ممكن بتعملوه عندكم في ايرلند احنا الوان ستيج في ناس بتعمل بس يعني هو طبعا انا انا بقول يعني دايما اللي بيعمل وان ستيج احنا حتى معانا كونسلتنتس اليوم بيعمل بس هو انا بعتبره قرار في منتهى الشجاعه يعني يعني طيب بتاخد ممكن... حضرتك انترا اوبراتيف ممكن تاخد انترا اوبراتيف كالجرز وفروزن سكشنز ذس از ذا اونلي واي بيكوز اف يو اور اور سام بيبل دو اسبيريشن يس اندر اندر ايمج جايدنس بيفور ذا سيرجري يس اي ام تيكينج فيو سامبلز تو بي تو بي شور ذات وي هاف اند وي نو ذا اورجانيز And we discuss with the microbiology to see if the if this organism is not virulent organism. Yeah. We have we have some antibiotic to deal with this. Then we can go for for single stage. But to be honest, the result of single stage are, like it is not. Uh, yeah. The arrangement of uh, post-operative antibiotic for Ireland. هل زي انجلترا وزي uh, المانيا. Yeah, uh, يعني uh, I think بالنسبة لنا هو ده not sufficient at all. لا احنا يعني كنت لسه في ميتنج على البوست اوبراتيف انتي بايوتيك والبري اوبراتيف بروفيلاكسس طبعا ده نوت سفيشنت اتول احنا احنا عندنا يعني وي هاف ا جود سيرفيس فور سمثينج كولد اوبات ذا اوبات از لايك اور بيشنت انتي بايوتيك ثيرابي ذا تيم ويل جو تو ذا بيشنت ات هوم اند جيف هيم ذا انتي بايوتيك فور 6 ويكس فور 8 ويكس اكوردنج تو ذا بلان سو وي هاف اند ذس ويل بي تايم يعني العيان مش هيفوت جرعه ولا The patient will take his antibiotic in the proper time, in the proper dose. This is the for the proper duration. So we have we have a good service for this. Uh, if if the patient you are afraid of the compliance or something, then you can keep the patient in the hospital. Also, we have something we have the uh, we call we call it step down, like the nursing home, some uh, convalescent uh, hospital for recovery. So we can go giving give the patient the antibiotic in these hospitals. Yeah. So to to make, to have like available beds in our hospital and also the patient is still having the antibiotic in a good time and a good dose, and also we all the time we discussing with the uh, with the uh, microbiology, because the micro the, the 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 we have this facility you know we give us guidance. This is the problem. and also for the chronic infection, we have the chronic suppressive antibiotic for 18 months. We have this regime and we have people following up this and dealing with this. And also we have nurses, community nurse will see, will review the patient, the wound. If there is any problem, they will she will contact us and send the patient to us in the clinic to see what the what the update. So this is the point. The problem in, like in Egypt, I know the service is not available, so you can lose the patient. 
فيجن وكان ديسابير فور ويكس اند كم باك وذ لا طبعا هو البيشنت نفسهم مختلفين وعدد البيشنتس طبعا لا اكتر بكتير يعني طبعا ما انا 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 عارف يا دكتور محمد الوضع طبعا اصعب مش سهل غير برضو الكوست يعني الكوست بتاعت الانتي بيوتيك اه بالظبط از فيري اكسبنسيف احنا بنشكر حضرتك دكتور ابراهيم بيه على ال- ال- اليوم الجميل اللي قضيناه مع حضرتك ده ثانك يو سو ماتش يعني بصراحه احنا استفدنا من خبراتكم كتير يا فندم وسعاده لنا ان احنا نشوف حضرتك دايما دكتور ابراهيم معانا ده شرف لي والله طبعا وطبعا ميني ثانكس تو بروفيسور جون كيلي فور جويننج اس تونايت دكتور محمد القاضي سعدنا بوجودك معانا حبيبي انت موجود معانا على طول عموما يعني وان شاء الله هنشوف حضراتكم باذن الله تعالى يوم الخميس الجاي 